Physics Pod, the YouTube channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. When trucks are overloaded as compared to its capacity, it places under due strain on the axle and the result is in front of you. Similarly, if you provide thermal energy to a substance, it will reach to thermal capacity. Let's discuss what does thermal capacity mean. The thermal capacity of a substance is the heat required to raise the temperature a unit degree. In order to elaborate more about thermal capacity, we should recall the concept of internal energy. Internal energy is the sum of all molecular kinetic and potential energies present in a body. If you look at this animation, you can see in number 1, the gas is cold and particles are moving slowly. Whereas in number 2, the particles are moving faster and the gas is warm. If you look at number 3 diagram, the gas is hot, the particles are moving very fast. What is specific heat capacity? The specific heat capacity of a material is the amount of energy required to raise 1 kilogram of material by 1 degree Celsius. It can be used to work out how much energy is needed to raise the temperature of a material by a certain amount. The formula is energy is equal to mass times thermal capacity times temperature change. A simple calculation is here on the screen. You can see how can we find the specific heat capacity by putting the values and find a product? Let's compare two substances, a small specific heat and large specific heat. Let's run. Let's run and check what happened. When I run this specific heat with small and large one, you can observe the small specific heat substance is going to be raise its temperature more quicker than the large specific heat substance. Let us uh, stop it and check what happened. You can see within the small interval of time, the small specific heat got 52.85, whereas the large one is only 36.42. Let us examine different material and different specific heat capacity. I have set up one experiment here. You can see here we have burner and let us uh, select some material wood and uh, let us try start heating. You can observe when I provide 150 joules of heat energy to the block of our wood, it's raised to 28.5. Let's reset and select copper. So if I start heating copper with the same energy, 150 joules, you can see the temperature is my God, it's 59.0 degrees Celsius. Let's uh, select another one, let's say water, and let's start heating the water one. What happened? Let's see. So you can see if I start heating water, it's only reaching 23.6 degrees Celsius. Let's move to the final part, an experiment to calculate the specific heat capacity. Let's adjust this. First, I have to adjust the voltages. Let's make it 10 volt. This is 100 gram of water. You can see the material. This is uh, temperature. Let's start joule meter. We need to check the reading at 22 degrees Celsius because we started at 21. Let's see how much energy is appeared on the joule meter when it's reached to 22 degrees Celsius. You can see a small uh, graph is also going to be generated here and we are reaching its 21.43. If it is when it's reached to 22 degrees Celsius, we will note the reading at uh, joule meter. So it's 26, 21.67 and 69. It's about to reach 22. And the amount of uh, joule appear on that screen will be the final uh, specific heat capacity of water. It's about to reach and finally it's reached. So you can see it's 4200. So this is a specific heat capacity of water, 4200.